Okay, so the first card is justice. So there could be some kind of legal situation that you're dealing with right now. Uh, it could be waiting for some kind of legal um, uh, decision to be made, or that is pending at this particular moment. It could be a divorce. It could be some kind of settlement that you're waiting for, for but some kind of uh, official decision is being, uh, you're waiting for that. You've got the health uh, card of here, so you have been focusing a lot on your health. Maybe you've been very, very stressed out about whatever has been going on, and this has affected your health. Most in, in a lot of cases, uh, you know, because um, Virgo and Mercury rule, uh, you know, the health. Um, generally, when um, Virgo gets stressed out, it does affect your health. So, uh, you know, it's really good to de-stress, uh, especially for Virgo to de-stress, or else you have health consequences. Now, it looks like there's some kind of decision or choice that will be made once you get this decision that comes in. So there is something pending over here, and you are waiting. You will be making some kind of decision, a very, very important decision uh, on a new beginning. So something, uh, whatever this decision is, is going to spur you on to make a decision or choose a direction in which you want to go. In the past, you've got the depth of feeling card. So it looks like you've invested a lot of effort and energy and time into that or whatever relationship you were in. So, uh, you know, it seemed like, um, you know, you did have, uh, um, there was a lot of fun. It seems like there was, uh, you know, you were very happy within that relationship. Whatever it hap whatever happened in it, you know, it brought it on a lot of soul awakening of here. You've got, and, you know, it may have uh, even um, brought in a lot of, uh, you know, your, it enhanced your intuition as well. So, you know, it was a time of great spiritual growth, whatever this relationship was, uh, and it brought in a lot of uh, soul awakening. It seems like, you know, you, you had a lot of spiritual growth from it. So going into the future, you've got the harmony card. So whatever this relationship is, it looks like it's going to be settling down and, uh, you know, a lot of peace coming in for you over here. Uh, you know, it seems like um, there's a lot of growth. You can see these two angels in the clouds over here. So, you know, you're going to be getting along with this person. It seems like peace is kind of coming in. Uh, you know, if you've been going through any drama, all of that seems to be settled down. And it looks like there might be a new love coming in. You've got the lover card over here. So um, it looks like, um, you know, a new relationship might be coming in and it is more harmonious relationship and uh, you know it is uh, it's better for you it seems like it's going to bring in a lot of love and harmony and peace within your life so it looks like you are make at a point a crossroads of the you're trying to make a decision about maybe whether to stop this relationship again and maybe you do need to take that chance if one if it presents itself to you okay so I'm just going to draw some cards from the symbol on tarot and this is going to be for the general read and this is not a tarot deck, so it doesn't have those uh, traditional tarot uh, symbologies in it. So you've got this card about... It's a Virgo card. So this is your card. You've got Mercury sitting here in Virgo. And this is about concentrating on your spiritual growth. But this is also focusing on your health and your body and your well-being. Uh, you can see the caduceus here in the background over here. And this person's praying a lot. So you might be spending a lot of time doing meditation. You need to de-stress and relax. But you also need to focus on your health. So change your eating habits. Watch your exercise. You know, get out there and focus on that health. You need to look after your health. Because, uh, you know, by focusing on your body and you know healing yourself it looks like things will um, have repercussions on your spiritual life as well or even on your emotional life so you do need to spend some time by yourself and you do need to focus on your health and take yourself seriously so start investing in yourself in order for you to recover uh, from whatever you went through you don't want to have long-term repercussions of um, you know being too stressed out so it seems like whatever situation you went through, you are feeling very, very disempowered. It seems like, you know, you've, this is the fallen king. So where you were, had control and you were very confident and you, you know, you, you knew what you were on about, it seems like whatever's come in has thrown you uh, off balance, um, you know, and it seems like there's a loss of power over here. And there's, uh, you know, you're feeling as though you have no more control of that situation. Um, you're doing a lot of self-reflection. Maybe you've been communicating with this person quite a bit, uh, you know, but it seems like... Like, uh, you are feeling very disempowered at the moment. You've got the meditation card over here. So this is a need for you to focus and recenter yourself. 
you know, chakra healing really. But really it's about focusing your attentions on yourself and spending a lot more time with yourself and coming to terms with things. So there's some certain issues that you need to sort out because it is having some effects on your health over here with this health card here. So you do need to focus on yourself. Uh, you know, it seems like, you know, you might be a little bit depressed uh, and you need to get yourself out of that feeling and uh, you need to get that power right back again. So in the past, it looks like you may have been in a relationship uh, that uh, where the appearances were deceptive and maybe this is what you've been thinking about. It might have been a relationship in the past that you still haven't gotten over yet. Or it could be a relationship that uh, happened in the past year, uh, you know, where everybody else thought it was wonderful and it really wasn't. It was a very controlled relationship and, uh, you know, um, you were feeling, um, you know, as though it, it, you know, it wasn't real. It wasn't true. Uh, whatever was going on was not exactly what was going on in the relationship. What everybody else saw, uh, you know, wasn't, you were very unhappy in it and, um, you know, not being very supported being very controlled within that relationship, but you were unhappy within that relationship. So you've got the, um, this card about, you know, trying to get back to nature again, trying to get back into, uh, you know, seeing the bigger picture, uh, you know, taking on a, a different a kind of view of things. So it looks like, you know, you are defocusing from yourself and you are now uh, getting on that stance where you are, you know, more nurturing, getting, uh, you know, better global vision. Maybe there's some kind of cause that you are, uh, you know, uh, fighting or some some something that you're focusing on uh, that is not just about you. It's about everything else around you and, you know, um, trying to find out uh, you know, you, you're trying to get in contact with your spirituality, it seems, uh, trying to see the bigger picture. Maybe you're asking the question, why are we here and what is our purpose? And maybe this is what is going on over here. Whatever happened in that relationship, it affected your confidence and it is now, you're now questioning all your belief systems, it seems. So, um, you know, you maybe you feel that this person that you were involved in was, you know, they they took a lot of advantage of you. They run, There was a lot of drama within that relationship. You can see this is the Crusader card. Somebody coming in over there and telling you what to do. These Crusaders uh, went in and, you know, pillaged and burnt things and, and tried to put their views onto people. Um, and uh, they didn't really care whether or not the people had their own uh, ideas. So maybe this is how you are feeling, as though whoever you were dealing with or whoever you were involved in brought in their ideas, their ideals, and tried to, uh, you know, uh, uh, really paste it on you, and you had to just, uh, you know, go with the flow. And maybe they were very, very aggressive about the whole situation. And maybe they used a lot of guilt to manipulate you. Uh, but, you know, they were very, very much in control. You can see that sword over there. Uh, you know, and uh, they they really took, uh, you know, they had a lot of control over you. Now, this could also well be, uh, you know, if you're dealing with some kind of legal situation, because this could be like the Knight of uh, Swords, where there is some kind of legal decision uh, or legal case that you went through and you're waiting for some kind of decision to come in. And this is a legal ending to that situation, especially after all the drama that has gone through. So this could be well from, uh, you know, the personality of the person was very, very aggressive, but you could also be dealing with the law or the legal situation or some kind of official uh, decision that you're waiting for to sort out all the drama that went out or went on. So it could have been, you know, the situation ended uh, uh, in a legal separation. Because you can see here, this could well be the case, because you've got the sword here within the rift. So it seems like you and this person that you're dealing with have reached a point where you are at a stalemate situation. It looks like there is a legal ending to this particular situation. The law has been called in, a decision, you're waiting for it. You are both not budging, you're standing in your... Um, uh, uh, standing your ground really and uh, you know you are not even communicating with each other so it seems like you may have broken off with somebody and um, maybe you have gotten a divorce or some kind of legal separation and you are not talking to each other you feel like you've made a lot of sacrifices for this relationship you put in a lot of effort and energy into this relationship and you and you know you really cared about it but everything went up in flames. So you're very, very upset about it. You know, you looked after it. You started it, you know, this is a little baby there. So, you know, you you gave, you know, you gave a, a lot of attention to this relationship, but it was all for naught and everything seems to have gone, uh, you know, seems to have gone upside down, really. It seems to have all, um, you know, there's nothing left of that relationship. And it seems like you and this other person are fighting a lot. You're having a lot of arguments. Uh, there's a lot of battles. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, you know, nastiness 
uh, and you're having to defend yourself all the time. So it seems like you and this person, even if you're communicating with each other, there seems to be a lot of problems. Maybe this is the reason why you've cut off communication completely. So in your hopes and your fears, you want to get back your power, you want to get back your authority. So where you have started off with this fallen king over here, this is what you want back. You want to get back on top again and you want to be in charge. So, you know, you want your confidence back. That's where you're working for. You want power to come back into your hand again. So going into the future, there's a very, uh, it's very necessary for you to be very practical about what you decide to do. So don't have uh, any uh, expectations of uh, the other person, or if you are going into a new relationship, don't have any expectations of it. Because this is about having, you know, um, uh, wanting something that is not very realistic. So make sure if you're strategizing or you're making plans or you're having a new vision or you're setting new intentions, that they're based in reality. These are, you must set goals that you can achieve, you know, and, uh, and know that everybody is fallible. So don't look at people as being larger than life. So everybody's got a flaw and you need to see that, you know, Virgo does tend to be the sign of a perfectionist uh, and, uh, you know, uh, you don't, you, you're never going to find that in life really. Watch out for people who are energy vampires. Now you could have been in a relationship where this person was stealing energy from you and maybe allowing back in, them back into your life is something that causes uh, you know, them to take energy from you. Maybe all these battles and arguments and fights that you're having for you is draining you because this person, you know, some people take energy in that kind of way. They, they cause a fight and that is how they drain you from the energy. So just watch out for that. Whatever, you know, th there could be also something coming in that they do. Something is going to be revealed for you, to you, uh, that's going to really shock you. So there's something that is coming in as far as information. Uh, this is the card of the Furies. So this is about learning something that, you know, this is the Medusa with a lot of uh, snakes in her hair. So you're going to learn, hear about something that's really, really toxic that you didn't expect and that's going to be quite surprising, quite shocking. This is almost like the tower card. It really upsets you and, you know, uh, but also try not to, you know, maybe you hear something and this is also kind of about being paranoid about something, uh, expecting the worst case scenario. So, you know, it, really this person, since it is right next to the vampire card, you know, there's something that they're doing that is drawing a lot of energy from you. Maybe you're going to hear something, some news about them that's going to be quite shocking, uh, quite surprising. You didn't expect it because you had a vision that they were something and maybe you were thinking that they, they were one, a, a certain kind of a person. You had um, uh, an idea, um, you know, but they deceived you. So this is being deceived by somebody, um, you know, believing that they were something and they were not and maybe this is what you're going to be finding out soon so just be aware that it could be the case that you know what you thought this person was all about or maybe they're going to do something that shocks you don't expect it um, it's best to cut your ties with them cut your energy and move on so i'm just going to draw some cards from the um, archangel power tarot and this is for the oracle advice and the first card is the Four of Air, Raphael, which says, Seek out possibilities. Look for the magic in life. Be aware of your own emotions. So this is trying to find your uh, emotional stability. Four of Raphael is like the Four of Cups. So maybe there's an offer also coming in. Maybe it's not an offer that you really want, but, um, you know, it is coming in for you. And there will be, there's a need for you to seek out healing, seek out other things that you want to do. Uh, there could be that emotional offer that comes in. You've got the two of Raphael, which says two hearts dedicated to creating something wonderful. Kindred spirits don't give up on those you love. So it looks like, you know, with the four of Raphael, it's usually the four of cups, which is about, um, you know, an offer being made. And then you've got the two of Raphael over here. So that looks like it's an offer being made uh, a very good supportive relationship coming in. So there could be a new relationship coming in. After all the drama that you went to, it looks like this is a relationship where you have a better soul connection with this person. So there could possibly be a new relationship that comes in after all this drama. And you've got the three of Ariel, do what you love, a time for great personal growth in your career or artistic endeavors and working with others in a cooperative manner. Now the three of Ariel is like the three of... Um, pentacles so whatever this relationship that comes in uh, for you you're gonna have to do some work on it in order for you to make it happen the three of pentacles is focusing and concentrating your energies on uh, that uh, relationship making it work 
uh, and it will produce the abundance or it will produce you know the happiness that you want whatever this relationship is this new relationship that comes in is a very very much a soul connection but it's also very healing because Raphael is about healing so this is uh, you know whatever this new offer is it might be something that you don't haven't considered before but it's going to present itself and it's going to pr produce a lot of healing but you're going to have to do a lot of work as well on that relationship to make it work and focus on it. So that is where what uh, it looks like that is coming in. Whatever the relationship is that you're leaving behind, it looks like that has finished off. And maybe it is time. You did make a lot of um, sacrifices. You know, you're still, if you're in communication with this person, uh, it's, it's, um, it's still very, very um, dramatic. There's a lot of uh, fighting and arguing going along so it's best to cut ties with that kind of energy and they are drawing a lot of your energy because you've got the psychic vampire card as well so you do need to cut ties with this person and leave the past behind so that you can open the road for a brand new relationship which seems like it's going to be better off for you in the end so I, it's going to be more healing definitely so I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.